Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and my little two month old baby, Daniel. And today I'm gonna be doing a video I've been promising you and that is comparing a bunch of different baby wearing options. So today we're gonna to talk about knit wraps, woven wraps, a few different varieties of those. So there is the Baby Catan, which is supposed to make wrapping a bit easier. There is the Mai Tai. I'm going to go in depth on all of these different baby wearing options. I'm a mom of six. I've been baby wearing regularly, pretty much for the last 10 years. This is my key to getting everything done around the house and everything that needs to happen with my home business and homeschooling and just having other kids. Baby wearing is an absolute must. I feel like anybody who hasn't got used to it yet if you just get past the learning curve you find what wrap works best for you you will be in love with it I have not met a baby yet who does not like to be worn and it just makes life so much easier I do not know what I would do without a baby wrap this kid never gets put down he does not like to get put down if he does he cries but I can still get a lot of stuff done around the house because of my wraps so let's dive into it I do want to do a quick disclaimer before I go into all of my favorite baby wearing baby carrying options safety is is definitely a concern. Babies should always be close enough to kiss. You should be able to see their nose and be sure that they are breathing. Baby wearing can be dangerous if you don't know how to do it properly. As always, do all of your research, and this is just my opinion. I cannot tell you what is best for you and your family, but definitely take caution with baby wearing. I personally love it but you need to know all of the safety concerns. Also, just use common sense too on strangulation. So obviously some wraps contain longer strings and ties and that can be really dangerous around small children. So obviously always close supervision with all wraps and carriers. The first category we're gonna talk about are knit wraps. So what I'm wearing right now is a knit wrap. It is made with stretchy, long fabric. It's basically just a long piece of fabric with tapered ends. There are probably dozens and dozens of different varieties on the market. I've tried probably six or seven. I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of knit wraps versus woven wraps and then some of my favorite brands and what I like about some and the pros and cons. The pros of knit wraps. So they can carry kids up to 45 pounds depending on the brand. Some of the more lightweight brands can only carry smaller babies. I'll go more into that with each brand. One of my favorite pros of knit wraps is that you can tuck the head in. So when I'm going about my day and I'm down doing dishes or changing a diaper, on the floor, cutting out fabric to sew. Yes, I've done that. Anything I need to do, cooking in the kitchen, I can do it when I'm wearing a knit wrap because the head is tucked in. So as you can see, he is super secure and he's not going anywhere. Now some of the styles of wraps, it's not as easy to do this part. It's not as easy to get them in nice and securely. And you feel like you need to hold their head when you're doing things. Not so with a knit wrap. Now the reason for that is because it's stretchy, this feels comfortable. Whenever you're pulling over something that isn't stretchy, this isn't as comfortable to be against their head and also it can't be as tight. Because it's stretchy, you can tie it super tight. Now I do have a video here on my channel where I show you how to wrap one of these and the key is to get it as tight as possible. You think the baby isn't gonna actually fit in, but they do. And that's really important because to get this kind of security where they're not gonna fall out, you need to get it really tight. Now, another advantage of a knit wrap is they are so comfortable. They wear like a t-shirt. So as you can see, it's broad across my shoulders and my back. And this just makes it feel like a piece of clothing. I don't feel burdened. When I first started baby wearing, I tried a couple of carriers that are more like straps and my back hurt so bad. This just makes it so much more comfortable because it is evenly distributed. And that is something that is a pro of the knit wraps. Another advantage of a knit wrap is they are one size fits all. With wovens, with different varieties, you get different sizes for different styles of wrapping, for different sizes of babies. And this one is just, you buy it and you can wrap it tight. If you're a smaller person, you'll have more tails at the end. If you are a larger person, you won't, but it's one size fits all. Now, if you are a smaller person, another option is to tie it around the back so that you aren't tripping over any strings. So as you can see here, 
I've tied it with the knot in the front, but I just have secured it around the back, so now I don't have a lot of excess fabric to deal with. Another advantage of knit wraps is that the baby can come in and out of them without taking them off. So I will take Daniel in and out throughout the day out of a knit wrap, whereas the Mai Tai, which I'm gonna be showing you in a little bit, you cannot, you have to redo it each time. All right, some of the cons of knit wraps. One is there's a bit of a learning curve. So I am so comfortable with these from using them for so many years. I know just what I'm doing. It goes on really quickly. But if you've never done it before, the first couple times, you'll probably not get the baby tight enough. You won't feel like they are secure. You might have a hard time remembering the steps. So there is a learning curve to that. The next con is it's a lot of fabric. So you might feel like, you're just getting a tangled up mess of fabric. You might feel like there's tails hanging on the floor. Again, I showed you this trick, which kind of is a solution for that, but that is considered to be a con. Another con is you cannot do a back carry with a knit wrap. So older toddlers are more comfortable on the back for the wearer, but you can only do that with non-stretchy wraps because they could fall back and fall out of it because it being stretchy. So that would be a con is that you cannot do a back carry. All right, let's go into a few of my favorite brands of knit wraps. Okay, this wrap here is the Boba. It's another knit wrap option that you can find on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. This is my current favorite. Now, it's a lot like the Key Babies. I will say it's a little bit stretchier, which I do like because he feels a little bit more snug and secure. But that could just be because I've owned it a lot longer. Again, like all knit wraps, it has the great support. I would say as far as weight, this one is a little bit heavier than Solly, but quite a bit less heavy than Moby. Also, I noticed that Boba just rolled out some pretty cool print options, so it has that going for it. It's less expensive than the Moby and the Solly, so this is also a great budget-friendly option. It is definitely my current favorite and the one that I use the most often. Another brand is the Solly Wrap. I ended up sending mine to a friend with a newborn because I have so many other wraps, but some of the advantages of the Solly is it's super, super lightweight. It wears just like a t-shirt. If you're having a summer baby, it's perfect for that. Another advantage of the Solly Wrap is they come in all kinds of really beautiful colors. They kind of have that minimalist feel and the colors and prints are just more stylish in my opinion than a lot of the other brands. The cons are you can't really wear older children at all because the fabric is so light that the support just isn't there. Another con is just that they are really expensive. So they're not really a, the budget friendly option, but again, you are getting those really pretty prints. So if you're thinking about it more as wearing a shirt, it's great for that. All right, this here is the Moby wrap. Now I use this one first. This is my first baby wearing knit wrap I ever had. So it is a bit old, it's a little bit faded in spots. Now, one thing I will say about this one is it is not very stretchy. And I definitely do not prefer that. I definitely prefer the Boba over this one. Maybe they've improved the fabric since the time that I bought this one. I'm not totally sure, but I will say that my sister also had a Moby that was not very stretchy, and so that just might be kind of how they are. He does feel secure. I could go on with my day just like any other knit wrap. One thing about the Moby wrap is it is a thicker fabric. So if you are wanting to get a wrap for the warmth, if you want to go out on a fall or winter day, this one is a lot thicker than the Boba and the Sally and the Key Babies. Okay, next up is the Baby Catan. So this is technically a knit wrap. It's made with the same kind of fabric pretty much as the Moby. It's not as stretchy as the Boba, the Sally, and the Key Babies. But the reason that this Baby Catan was designed is for people who don't feel very confident wrapping the Moby Wrap or the other different knit wraps. So this is a little bit easier. Let me show you how it goes on. Just getting out of the wrap is not fun for him at all. You put it on like a necklace. Then you put your arm through. So this is kind of like the first part of the knit wrap is already done for you. And you just put your baby's feet through like you usually would once you've tied the other one. Tuck the little head in, he's gonna be nice and sleepy and then mommy's gonna get him up again. And then you tie the sash around the middle. This is to mimic the exact same setup as the other knit wraps but without all of the wrapping. Now, some advantages of this is obviously it is a little bit easier to tie. Now, me personally, 
I'm so used to my other knit wraps that this is not easier for me to do actually at all. Like I can do my other one faster. Probably once you get used to it, maybe it isn't. Another advantage is there is just less fabric to deal with. So whenever you're done doing the wrap, you only have these tiny little tails as opposed to the big long ones. So it feels a little bit trimmer. Now, uh, some disadvantages. They aren't really one size fits all. So currently I have the extra small size. Daniel is two months old, he feels secure. I could go about my day, I could do dishes and so. However, I don't think this is going to work much longer. So if he were to be six months or 12 months, I don't know that this size will still work. Now that could possibly not be the case, but as of right now, it feels super comfortable. It totally works. It just feels like he doesn't have a whole lot of room to grow. It's not super stretchy. It's more like the same fabric as the Moby, so I don't like the stretch factor near as much. Definitely prefer the stretchier Boba and Key Babies, hands down. This one here is the Key Babies Knit Wrap. Now I like this one because it's very budget friendly. I've found it on sale for really cheap. I will leave a link in the description box below where I find this one. Now the pros is all the same pros as the other knit wraps. I like that he's super tight. I can put his head in. I like to have the tag right in the middle so that I can easily find the middle point so I can put it on really quickly. This one you can tell is just a little more cheaply made, but you really can't even, in my opinion, get the fabric on your own this cheap anyway. So if you're looking for a really budget friendly option, this one is perfect. I would say it has about the same weight as the Boba. So it's lighter than the Moby, heavier than the Sally. It is not quite as stretchy as the Boba, which is something I'm not as into, but he feels totally secure. If this is all I had, I would be just fine. I have Daniel here in a front wrap cross carry in a woven wrap that I DIY'd. I'm gonna be sharing a tutorial on that, so stay tuned. I'll link it in the description below if you're watching this later. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of woven wraps. They are a lot more supportive for larger babies and toddlers. Now on that same note, they also are appropriate for a back carry. So I could take this same woven wrap and I could wrap Micah on my back for a day at the zoo or something like that. Now, because I have two, I probably would just wrap Daniel and put Micah in a stroller. But if you are looking to wrap an older child, a woven wrap is great. Another pro is they come in some really beautiful fabrics. So because they're made with woven cotton or linen, there are just some beautiful fabrics. If you go search, woven fabric on Etsy and you wanna make your own with five yards of fabric, you're gonna find some beautiful options. And so if the beauty of the wrap is important to you, wovens probably are hands down the best. You can find some amazing colors. Another pro is you can find them in some really nice organic and sustainable fabric choices like bamboo, hemp, linen, 100% cotton, things like that. Okay, another advantage of a woven wrap is if you are excited to learn a bunch of different carries, the woven wrap is notorious for that. There are so many options. There's the front wrap cross carry, scarf carry, rucksack carry, and so many other options I've seen. If you get into some baby wearing groups, they're going to be showing some really beautiful twists and braids and kangaroo style. There's just a bunch of options. So if you are wanting to kind of you know, explore a bunch of different options, the woven wrap is perfect for that. Now some of the cons is they can be really expensive because they come in those beautiful fabric choices. Sometimes they cost up to $200. Now I did DIY this one with some Osnaberg and dyed it with some fabric dye. So it was probably around $30 to DIY, but that is still more expensive than buying a knit wrap. So they do carry a heftier price tag. Another con, to me they're just not as comfortable. You can spread the fabric out and really support the weight, but because it isn't stretchy, it feels like you have something on versus the knit wraps, they wear more like clothing in my opinion. Feels more like a t-shirt. All right, next up is the Mai Tai. Now this is one that I DIY'd. There'll be a tutorial here on YouTube if you're watching this in the future, there already is. This is an East Asian style of wrap or carrier that is essentially a square piece of fabric with four straps coming out at each corner. Now I also did add a little hood to mine, which is great for in the winter if you're gonna be outside and you want a little bit of warmth. Also, 
You can cinch it based on the size of the child. And if they're sleeping, you can tie it like this for a little head support. All right, let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Mai Tai. The biggest pro that I see is they are so easy to do. So if you've tried knit wraps and woven wraps and you just can't seem to get them right, your baby always feels really insecure, like you can't move around and do things, this is probably one for you to try. You essentially just put the square over where the baby is on your chest and then wrap around all four of the ties just around your back and then you have the baby tied on nice and secure. I also do like that if you have the head support hood, which many options on the market do have, I will leave several links in the description box below to some really beautiful options that do have this hood, then you can still move about your day and do all of your chores and not worry about the head flopping out. So if you wanna get down on the floor and you know change a child's diaper, if you have more than one child, then you can totally do that with the Mai Tai. Another advantage is it is super comfortable because the straps are wide. You can put it across your shoulder with lots of weight distribution, unlike a lot of carriers, and you'll feel really comfy. Another advantage is because it is made with woven fabric, there are some beautiful options on the market if the aesthetic is at all a concern to you. When my second daughter was born, a friend of mine made me a Mai Tai. I ended up leaving it at a museum when I got her out to nurse her, unfortunately. But one thing I really loved about it is I found that if the baby fell asleep in this kind of wrap, I could undo the ties and easily lay the baby down on the Mai Tai without waking him up. Whereas with the knit and woven wraps, they're so tight on you that it's very difficult to remove the wrap with the sleeping child. Another advantage is if the baby is already sleeping, it is possible to tie the baby on without waking them up. Whereas with the Moby, I totally have to lay the child back down, wrap it all up, then put the baby back in. So a lot of times you can kind of work with this one while still holding the baby and that's an advantage. Another pro of the Mai Tai is you can carry older toddlers with the same size of wrap and you can put babies on a back carry. Now I wouldn't put a newborn on the back carry because I wanna see their face, but for a baby that's a little bit older and for toddlers, this is supportive enough because it is made with non-stretchy fabric to put on your back and carry the baby that way. It also is a one size thing. So this works for Micah and then it also works for Daniel. Some disadvantages, I would say it is still not as comfortable as my knit wraps. I love this wrap, I think it's a lot prettier than those. However, for the day, I still find the knit boba wrap to be the most comfortable that I can wear all day and totally just put the baby in and not worry about it. Another con of this is that you can't take the baby in and out. So with the knit wrap, I will take the baby out, lay them down if they're being happy or hand them off to you know Luke or his sisters or brothers, and then I'll leave it on and then put the baby right back in. The knit wrap just kind of stays on all throughout the day. Whereas this style of wrap, if I were to take him out, I really can't get him out, he's too tight. Because it's not stretchy, it's too tight, so it has to come off to get him out. So. I won't be wearing this throughout the day. I'll either be setting him down, taking the wrap off, or I'll be picking him back up and putting it on, but I won't be leaving it on in between time. Whereas with the knit wrap, I can do that. Another disadvantage is I haven't found a way to nurse in this. Now, technically you can nurse in a woven wrap and a knit wrap. I will say that I've never figured that out. To me, it is just too difficult. I'd rather just take baby out, nurse, and then put the baby back in again. So that is a disadvantage if you find that you are able to nurse in wraps, this one is not gonna be your wrap because you can't. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to leave a master list in the description box below with all of my favorite wraps of each of those different brands. I'm also going to have a blog post where I have all of these pros and cons typed out so that if you want to refer back to that and make the decision that's best for you and your family, you might find that you want one knit wrap for around the house and then maybe a woven wrap for when you're out at the zoo. You can evaluate that list and check my sources and make those decisions for your family. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. I also will have tutorials in the description box for how to make this and a DIY woven wrap, both which I made with Osnaberg fabric and some fabric dye. All right, thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.